Hello everyone, thanks for checking in to listen to one of my mental health awareness videos. Now if you have, if you have time, um, feel free to check out my Carers Mental Health blog site, which is mostly about my views about carers, caring for those suffering mental ill health. However, back to this video, usually on the 5th of November each year, it is National Stress Awareness Day. And I felt it quite important to do a little awareness video um, as my support for why it is so important to recognise stress and be aware of it. Now, who is, back, who is basically backing and promoting National Stress Awareness Day? Well, this is done by the Internal Stress Management Association, otherwise known as ISMA. Now, ISMA UK is a registered charity with a multidisciplinary professional membership that includes the UK and the Republic of Ireland. It exists to promote sound knowledge and best practice in the prevention and reduction of human stress. It sets professional standards for the benefit of individuals and organisations using the services of its members. As an organisation, the ISMA UK exists to advance the education of the public in the field of biological stress. So feel free to check out more information off their site, which I'll give you the address now, that being www.isma.org.uk. Now, going back to the National Stress Awareness Day 2014, the theme is stress the balancing act and I'll go into a bit more about that for carers in a moment but going into balancing act it is sometimes difficult to keep the right balance in the term of work, play and lifestyle. This is off the off the IMSA site. But what is stress and how does it affect people? Well we all have some form of stress in some sense and it is a driving mechanism some people actually thrive of it basically stress is also a biological response controlled by the brain as a reaction to at least a challenging situation and it manifests itself in perhaps a physical or emotional nature or perhaps a mixture of both now I'm not a mental health expert I'm just a carer of someone using um, mental health services. But I do have a fair idea about stress. We all have been through stressful situations. And a good example I, I reckon is when you're finding it hard to cope with too many things at once, or perhaps things are getting out of control. Remember this theme of 2014 is the balancing act. And one thing about balancing act is if you're doing too many things at once. Now this could be also um, how stress affects others. This could be also due, due to perhaps major life changes, maybe moving house, or even work presses, um, taking on too many things at work, or taking on a big project, which is becoming more and more complicated. Or perhaps making too many quick decisions, and so on. Not all people can tell when they become stressed and this is a serious problem. But the signs of stress can, um, can lead to physical symptoms including um, upset stomachs, um, headaches, blood pressure, chest pains, uh, problems sleeping. Um, if such stress is not dealt with then the symptoms can lead to chronic stress. Now since I'm a carer for someone using mental health services, I'm going to present how stress can affect carers along the lines of balancing so many things which carers can easily fall in, into trouble or into the habit of doing. Now as a carer myself, I have to do many things like try and hold down several jobs. I'm working part time and providing care via advocating and doing physical chores and dealing with correspondence. I also have to support myself, which does take time. But what happens if things get out of control? 
sometimes us carers have to increase uh, time caring if whoever we care for relapses. That's I'm taking this view from carers of uh, those caring for, for, for those who have mental ill health. We carers have to sometimes readdress how we balance different activities. It is so important for us carers to keep that fine line of balancing care and activities in check because us carers can be prone to stress due to lack of support. And if carers become too stressed, then carers will find it difficult to provide the care that that person so desperately needs. So going on a bit more about stress, how does it affect, in, you know, what does stress affect in the UK? Now as far as I've found out, stress affects one in five of the working population. Over 105 million days are lost to stress each year, costing UK employers 1.24 billion pounds. Now, as I mentioned before, stress can also be responsible for many health-related symptoms if not managed. As when some become stressed, they're going to take time off work. So it's important that whatever role you do, even if you're a carer or not, you need to plan things so you do not take on too much. And I think also for those working, um, it's important, I think, businesses take a keen interest on how stress can affect um, employers or employees. Remember to check out the International Stress Management Association site for more information on what they do and keep an eye on your own stress levels. And I'll give you that address again. The, the address is www.isma.org.uk. Thank you for watching.